So let me now segue into the, uh, our ongoing work with psilocybin and meditation. And we believe these can be viewed as complementary techniques for exploration of the nature of self and mind. So recent neuroimaging studies show that meditation uh, and psilocybin produce strikingly similar decreases in brain circuits responsible for self-referential processing. Uh, and um, and name, namely, there are different uh, structures in brain, the prefrontal uh, cortex and uh, posterior cingulate, that are major nodes of the so-called default net network that um, appears to underlie self-referential processing. And the interesting thing here is that um, just in the last couple of years, there have been two papers, one on meditation, one on psilocybin, that uh, show that meditation and psilocybin respectively decrease uh, communication within the default uh, mode network. This is Brewer, uh, PNAS, uh, 2011, compared meditators to control uh, seeing decreases in these brain hubs and, uh, uh, and also the, uh, uh, the connectedness between them in another analysis. Uh, um, and then Carhart Harris, 2012, PNAS, uh, looking at acute effects of uh, psilocybin and again seeing decreases in the default mode network. Um, so, uh, so there's an underlying physiological rationale that supports this. Um, so let me say a little bit more about these complementary uh, approaches. So meditation techniques that have been developed over millennia represent a powerful approach to investigating the nature of mind and self. I don't think anyone would dispute that. But if meditation represents the systematic tried and true course of discovery of the nature of mind or self, we would argue that psilocybin represents the crash course. <laughs> so uh, this just is a list of bullet points I put up uh, that, uh, that I would suggest that psilocybin is a pharmacological tool that helps people uh, understand. And as I go through this, recognize that there, it's probably equally true of both meditation and psilocybin. So psilocybin helps people recognize how it feels to embody the present moment. Certainly true of meditation. To dispassionately observe and let go of pain, fear, and discomfort to transform a conventional sense of self, i.e. the ego, uh, you know, the fundamental learning from beginning meditators is that you're not your mind, and that certainly comes out very strongly in a psilocybin session. A recognition that mind is capable of revealing knowledge not readily accessible in everyday waking consciousness. And finally, the gain of an authoritative sense of the interconnectedness of all people and things. That's the the mystical type experience, true of psilocybin and meditation, we believe. So we have one study that uh, is ongoing right now. We've actually just completed uh, 